a girl. What is up, you sexy YouTube mother lovers? We are back for another episode of Brandon opens up his private gun vault because he caves to internet peer pressure. On this episode, going back to the classics, this is the first gun I have ever owned. This is a Mossberg 500 pump with a cool, tactical, if you will, uh, cheap ass ATI folding stock that I put on it this morning because I wanted to do some Jurassic LARP. It's gonna be a cool episode. I'm just gonna shoot this a little bit because honestly, I haven't shot this very much. I've gotten some cooler toys, but it's the one gun in my collection that I never sold because it's got so much sentimental value of when I was an idiot teenager. We're gonna shoot some stuff. We've got some cool stuff to shoot, including more flechettes. You guys like those? Uh, just gonna be a cool episode. A little bit of range time because, you know, I like spending time in the range with you guys. Pretty neat. First up on the docket, we're gonna use some Federal Premium Buckshot to annihilate 1,300 calories worth of cheer wine, because that's the North Carolina way, fighting that war on obesity. One 12 gauge round at a time, let's just shoot it. To show off the to whom it may concern nature of the 12 gauge shotgun, uh, we have posted up three of the cheeriest of wines right there on top of that blue rain barrel, and we're gonna take it out with, like I said, double lot box. So let's see what happens. Just gonna send it. Nailed it. Okay, so adequately destroyed. Adequately destroyed. I think our third guy over here did not get hit whatsoever. No leaks, he's just literally shook up a bit. So what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Unless you got five in the tube. All right, we're gonna do that one more time. We got the other four up there now. Get your hands off my flat screen. I think we got them. This one's for all of you that made fun of me for drinking White Claw like an absolute lad on the last gun meme review. I have been informed there are no laws. It is a miracle I have not actually hit this barrel yet today. Coming up next on the docket, my meat. And you didn't even have to subscribe to my OnlyFans. But before that, I'm going to do a quick breakdown on a couple of features of the Mossberg 500, and then things are going to get very interesting. Not that technical breakdowns aren't interesting. I mean, come on, that's why you all watch, right? So the folding stock is, of course, new. This came with a regular stock. It was just a black polymer stock. Uh, it also had a pistol grip. I bought it for the pistol grip because I was a teenager. Like I said, this was the first gun I ever bought myself with my own money. I was so proud, mowing lawns and shit like that. I wanted a pump shotgun with a pistol grip because I watched Zombieland and that looked cool. So about this, and honestly, this was one of the best guns I could have learned on. It's fairly basic. I didn't have to do a lot of maintenance. And I'm an AK guy now, so you know, maintenance isn't really my forte. Very basic operation. Like I said, it is a pump action shotgun. There's a little release here, so I hadn't pulled the trigger uh, since I cleared it. There's a release here that if you already have pumped the shotgun once, allows you to re-rack it. So you see there, it's empty, of course. And you see the tube here, it is empty as well. There's a little spring return at the very end, it's the follower for the tube. I don't know what they call it that. I'm not a shotgun guy anymore. The safety up top, that is on safe. The red, red's dangerous. But it's pretty neat. Uh, the pump itself is tethered with these long metal rods so that when you push this back, it actually works the action and pulls it back forward instead of a gas operation. Sights on it are pretty fucking abysmal. This is standard shotgun sights, uh, the, the bead sights. So there really is no rear sight. You just kind of aim down the line of the gun and the bead just kind of helps you figure out exactly where you're at. And then you take down whatever it is flying animal you're probably shooting at. I was never really a big hunter, but this gun helped me take down a number of duck, quail, pigeon, raccoon on the side of the road that was already dead. It was honestly a fantastic gun to learn on. It was very cheap, uh, very widely available, and uh, yeah, it was everything I needed to, to, to have to learn about getting into the world of firearms. This isn't an ad, by the way, this isn't sponsored. I bought this like 10 years ago. A lot of you younger guys are asking, you know, what was my first gun and things like that. You're just getting into it. Um, I, you know, an AK is not a first, not a bad first gun. You know, I, I, I dug it. I, that was the first gun I ever shot. So, uh, you know, that's not necessarily a bad choice, but this is the one I learned on. 
And I guess, I don't know, it's kind of neat to be able to show you guys like where I came from in the gun world. So this was it. That's kind of cool that I brought it back out again, shooting it, because I haven't done that in a long time. So without further ado, meat time. As I'm here handling raw meat, which I'm pretty sure they tell you never to do, putting it up against our Survivor cheer wine so that uh, anything that penetrates here would be a vital organ. This is a neat experiment. See the uh, the flechette that we used last time, the Saiga 12 video. Uh, interesting, you guys seem to really like it. Penetrated the two liter bottle to the other side, but uh, I don't know how it would actually work on flesh. It was very underpowered, powder, uh, underpowered, fuck me. It was an underpowered load. And uh, so it, it didn't even cycle the semi-auto Saiga 12, but one of the ways that the pump actions kind of shine is underpowered loads like the flechettes or the dragon's breath or whatever, which is basically just a glorified firework, will actually cycle because you're cycling it by hand. It could literally be just a primer and you just eject it. You could even cycle in like dud rounds, like, you know, dummy rounds with your live ammo if you were just an idiot. So again, our flechettes, which teachable moment, look like that they're not as rusty because uh that that's against well these are already against the geneva convention i'm pretty sure but uh i'm pretty sure you know tetanus giving them tetanus filled net you know what that's just let's just shoot this 12 gauge flechette into raw meat and sugary internal organs this is the way send I was doing so good not shooting the barrel. So we got our barrel here. Um, I got one flechette down here. I've got one that just totally nosedived in on top. I just, I, I jinxed myself. I said I didn't shoot the damn barrel. So we have our cheer wine that was penetrated. I'm fairly sure that's the one. This lovely piece, oh my God, what the fuck? It ate a fucking hole right through the middle, and I have to be careful with it because that hole is filled with nails. Flechettes. Uh, yeah. I say good effect on target. You see a few of them are getting stuck in the meat itself. I'd actually say the majority of them, but this is full penetration. Kids don't look that up without safe search. That is a fucking wound cavity. Fuck, I love this country. Time to play the game, what does Brandon have in his pocket seas? Today, it is these True Trace NCC, whatever the hell this is. Honestly, uh, this is just random shotgun ammo I had. I bought it at a fuddy gun show a while back. I have no idea what the fuck these things do. I was sold them as Dragon's Breath Tracers. Let's see if they're interesting. Good chance that they're not, but whatever. I'm willing to experiment. I'm going to find out with you, because I don't know. send No, those were lame as hell. I'm glad we could share that disappointment together. If there's anything... I usually only can disappoint one person at a time, but I'm glad I could disappoint that many people. Well, guys, that was actually a pretty fun video. I, I, I kind of like doing stuff like this. It's fun to just do dumb shit, like shoot flechettes into a mock-up chest cavity. If you like seeing more range stuff like this and more stuff out of my personal collection, please let me know. I don't mind showing you guys. I think it's kind of fun. I think it's kind of cool to show you guys a little bit of my personal, yeah, this is very cheap, a little bit of my personal background and how I got into firearms and everything like that. So if you want to see that, please leave me a comment and I will see you sexy YouTube mother lovers in the next video. Thanks. They're sending the fucking black helicopters after us? Alright, whatever. Anyway, uh, to show the to whom it may concern nature of the cheer wine. Wow, that is an Apache. Check that shit out. Nice. Nice. It's just a military aged male here holding a, holding a firearm. How's it going? conquers all except for an AH-64 attack helicopter they have missiles and machine guns just gonna send it wow that actually was way high
the fuck is up with this thing? My shotgun is defective. So, as I'm sitting here handling raw meat, which I'm pretty sure they advise you not to do. God damn, they will not leave us alone. Fuck. I know, I'm famous. Leave 